Well, hello there, dear viewers. I've selected a few maps for your light entertainment, and I've chosen some that I thought would generate, I guess, the most interest or intrigue. Let's begin with this one. Wow, what a huge clock. That's huge. All right, let's play. I wonder if they're lying about how big their clocks are. It's quite typical of a clock. I mean, I've seen big... All right, here we have a clock on some kind of structure, a little archway. It looks modern. It's got a Dali-esque hand here and a little pitchfork over there. Driving on the left a -roo. Hmm, what is that? Well, I don't think it's Gaelic. I suppose if it ain't Gaelic, then it's probably Welsh, right? So let's go with that line of thinking. So, Cardiff or Swansea? Let's find the M4 first. Let's, let's say St. Moulin. St. Moulin Homes. Okay. It's like some cow run real estate agent agency. St. Moulin. And this says Heron's Mead and Bellway. Bellway and Heron's Mead. Um, hmm. It's probably in Wales. That's some fairly logical thinking. Is Newport in Wales? I have no idea. And they have a port, a dock. I spent longer than I wanted to on this. I'm going to go in Newport. Ooh, not too shabaroony. That was nice. Off to a good start. That clock was pretty average. All right, here we go, another clock, and it's in a city center. This is a cool clock. I think this is Cambodia. Wait a second, wait a second, is it? Oh God, I am so out of practice. I'm curious, they're driving on the left though. Is that like the little vehicles you see in Sri Lanka? Hold on, oh, this language kills me. That says Lanka, I don't know of that means anything. I'm pretty sure they drive on the left in Sri Lanka and India, Bangladesh as well. Hold on. Beep. My memory is terrible. Fuck. I'm gonna kick myself. All right, I'm just gonna go for Colombo, I guess. Crossing a bridge. Let's pretend it's this one. Oh, okay, I was Sri Lanka, but on the wrong side. I always pick Colombo. All right, what's next? Another tiny clock. This looks European. Straight off the bat. Whatever the fuck that means. So many baseball metaphors woven into our vernacular. It's weird. That is globalization for you. That is not a flag, unfortunately. Getting some... Hmm. What am I getting here? Not a great deal. Vibe-wise. This is style of house. Fucking no idea. All I know is that this is perhaps Europe. Oh no. What is that? Is that a bug? Oh, it's a little bird up there. Hey guy. It's like one of the things out of fucking like, War of the Worlds. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't quite make that out. Long number plates. I guess semi fancy cars or whatever. Nice looking clock. Small but neat. Alright. This is upsetting. I'm gonna pick somewhere like, I don't know, Copenhagen or, yeah, Denmark will do, I think. Danes. The Danes. Yeah, I'll go here. And teased it up. Oh, God. Further north. That's okay. We are almost, almost there. I couldn't commit. All right, here we have a thick clock. Oh, disgusting. But it's a tiny little clock face, so... Anyway, insomnio. Yes. I am experiencing some insomnio. Let's just say Danubio Fiesta. Limp Hoga. Gosh, don't insult the clock. I'm seeing that black dot on the number plates. You all know what that means, don't you? That means we're in somewhere in South America. The sun... Yeah, okay, so we are south of the equator. I think it means we're in Argentina, that black dot. Quite south. I'll just pick 
Cordoba, perhaps? That'll do. God damn it. Uh, it looked, yeah, the brightness. It looked, I should have known that was the. God. It's upsetting. Alright, next and final clock map. Now we're talking. Alright, here's a bigger clock. This looks like some clock with multiple talents or features like an astrological clock like the one you'd see in Prague for example but this ain't Prague now is that an Italian flag there might be is this an Italian man and is this an Italian puppy oh, yeah this looks pretty fucking Italian doesn't it to me this looks like Milano remember last time I visited Milan everybody was looked beautiful and they were all cycling and wearing shoes that were not practical for cycling so I mean this is looking looking like that banca that's an Italian word and yeah that's the flag there all right well I do not see the Duomo I'll be slightly upset if this isn't northern Italy it's like like it technically could be anywhere in Italy all white that's probably more southern white pants I don't really know. Oh, I guess Cremona is the hint. Yeah, it's like the bank of, and then this must be the place name down here. I'm not entirely sure where Cremona is. This is pretty fucking cool though, wherever it is. Italy's so beautiful. I think I'm gonna stick to my initial instinct that this is northern Italy, even though it looks quite summery, but I mean that doesn't really mean anything it's Mediterranean Europe and yeah the bikes and the shoes and this is all just like reminding me of Milan although I don't think this is Milan you know, it's not rural but like not as I don't think you can even describe Milan as metropolitan just a bit more cash I don't know yeah anyway let's go to Milan and where will I pick? All right, we'll just go brush here. Oh, that looks hilly. Ah, what about crema? That's almost crema. Go that one there. Ah, oh, no, <laughs> I was almost there. Literally, I had the C E R M A. Oh god. There you go. That was pretty close. We got a pretty good round for the big clocks. Oh, we didn't even make twenty. Oh well, that was because of fucking Argentina. Right, I just have to check on a pie. Okay, I'm back. So while that pie cools down, let's play another round of GeoGuessr. And uh, let's do this one, which I have played before. Hopefully we get some different rounds. GeoGuessr goes weird and strange. All right, first map. we so this is like if the v Vitruvian man met the Wright brothers <laughs> and asked someone to make a sculpture of them. Yeah. I can only hazard a guess. Where would this be? I feel like this is somewhere Nordic, but then maybe it is some sort of like tribute to the first person to fly. Two fair haired tourists, so that kind of makes me think it could be somewhere slightly Scandi. Let's go for somewhere near Oslo, that'll do. Yep, just the UK as suspected. <laughs> Whatever. I let the blonde hair distract me. Okay. Here we go. This is curious. Where where might we be? I have no clue whatsoever. Garden hose. No clue. Palm trees, houses, like flat, a little bit hilly, a little bit of everything really. Will it be some random island? Got a cool hat here. A few woven baskets. Very eclectic, peculiar looking accommodation. Hmm. Colombia? That'll do. Oh my god, it was. It was fucking Colombia. Unreal. I'm happy with that. Well, of course I'm happy with that. All right, front yellow number plates with the blue on the side. Boots with the fur. Yellow on the back, blue on the back. Fair hair. Oh, and rocking the Adidas slides with socks. That is bold. All right. Dirk van den Broek. I mean... That's, it's got to be one place, right? And then we've got this orange here. This has to be the, the Netherlands, right? 
what else could it be? Yeah, the Netherlands. We'll go. Does this look like a uni town? Hmm. Let's go Rotterdam, somewhere near there. Yes, another great guess. Go me. Oh, hello. Yo, this is great. I've actually seen this image before. It's pretty amazing that this was captured. These guys are off here watching this bear living its best fucking life. Look at all of these. Salmon? Freshwater? Freshwater salmon? No, this has got to be attached to some motion. Who knows? Anyway, I guess I'm gonna guess Russia for this one. Got some seagulls living on the fucking edge or also living their best lives. I don't know if a seagull could eat a whole salmon, but I don't know if you're a seagull, write into the show and let me know otherwise. I wonder if this is my favorite lake in Russia. What kind of bear is this first? That's a grizzly, isn't it? Maybe it's like Vancouver Island or something. Yeah. I don't know, but I might, this might be a silly guess. Lake Baikal, this might not be right. Obviously it might not be right, but whatever. I was over here, I was in Russia though, but down on this thing. A billion latitude points though. Okay, carrying on, that's a cool image. I mean, it's just a woman walking on the beach, so don't know why they included this as weird because she's just fucking wearing a bikini on the beach isn't she yes so some douche made this map clearly goes weird and wild holy shit this kid's averting the eyes I've blurred this woman's body but not her head anyway where might this be no fucking idea not a single clue it's quite a nice beach, although the sand, not much sand left. Some kind of resort place, Mediterranean colors, terracotta roof, local merchant sauce. I don't know, no idea. New Caledonia, that'll do. Oh god, it was over here in Brazil. Never mind, one point, not my best round. I've had worse rounds though. Carrying on to the next weird thing. Hopefully it's... Oh no, sorry. That was the end. Well, oh well. We'll just, we may as well just guess this one. Nah, nah, fuck it. All right. Okay, two more to go. We've got what the fuck <laughs> and glitch in the matrix. The pie's still too hot. All right, what the fuck. Let's go. This better be what the fucky. All right, so we're at the front of a G and M. East body shop and we have a Decepticon is that what they're called or is this Optimus Prime I'm not well versed in this <laughs> franchise it's either Optimus Prime that's got to be he's got the blue and red color schema going on he obviously has fallen on hard times and has become a I don't know a mechanic or a car salesman not that there's anything wrong with those vocations but when you are <laughs> A badass world saving fucking robot it is a bit of a downgrade so where the fuck is optimus prime these days living somewhere in the midwest on route 66 gosh we've had some real struggles in the past locating route 66 look at these retirees a couple of twins enjoying their retiree life in a long sedan it's like the car version of a bicycle built for two and yeah I guess we better look for route 66 I'm just gonna pick somewhere near like go in a line across here and that'll be that'll be the end of it okay I just need to extend that line a bit further into Oklahoma and I would have had a great score never mind another billion latitude points though here we go again probably not far from the last round We've got some Applebee's. Yeah, we're certainly in the US again. We've got this plane crash exhibit over here. And what have we got? Cooper's Express, Hot Mex Express. I don't know if you need your food express. But anyway, travel center, center spelled wrong. Clean restrooms. <laughs> oh, God. Gerald Plantation. Jesus Christ. And gas, but not actually gas. 
what do you guys call gas as in you know natural natural gas what you fill your gas bottle up with you call your petrol gas what do you call your gas do you call it petrol you're in topsy-turvy land over there i guess gas <laughs> and word word use is the least of your problems I'm not speaking to anyone specifically but uh, yeah you got some shit going on you're putting up with a lot of shit too okay well i saw the word plantation so i am going to assume that this is in the south there's a fairly consistent lack of front number plates too which double confirms it and i've got a sign over here it says juliet road three quarter mile <laughs> jesus christ fucking imperial all right jeez jeez all right let's let's stop ragging on ragging on them huh let's go georgia mm. or alabama and we'll pick somewhere tallahassee's in florida isn't it what about we'll pick where the three states meet which is somewhere here that'll do then i don't have to commit where was it i was in georgia in Forsyth, for any I had the foresight. All right, not a bad score. It's like fucking hell. Oh god. Um. Hmm. All right. This is a really beautiful landscape. I just when I saw this guy, I just thought of the the character from The Simpsons. This is certainly a homemade device. I'm not too sure. It's like I guess it's some piece of small farming equipment that he uses to transport a small amount of dirt. Anyway, great looking log cabin over here. Huh. Nice, nice setting. Another log cabin or log cabin roof. They're getting some deliverance vibes. Not I mean, just landscape wise and I mean they, that's truly all. But from memory that film was set in the southern Appalachian mountain region which is above Georgia and below Virginia I think hold on mm, somewhere in here Chattanooga I think these are the Appalachians in here from memory so let's just pick somewhere I hope I'm right oh my fucking god it wasn't the US now I feel quite poorly for really typecasting that gentleman I should have I didn't even really look at any anything else. You can forgive me for making that mistake. I've forgiven myself already. <sighs> there are probably some obvious signs there. Oh my gosh, here's something witchy and creepy going on. Are these going to be real people? I'm gonna say no. Yeah, no, I was I was absolutely right. Oh my god, what fresh fucking nightmare is this? What a fucking horror show. Imagine walking driving past I would absolutely crash my crash my car into this log cabin and these guys are just having a regular picnic like nothing fucking paranormal is going on next door like no I probably definitely visit this site whoever's idea it was to dress up sunflowers no I don't even think they're sunflower stalks oh gosh there's a lot that is a lot some fucking children of the corn shit right there. It's like a mashup between Field of Dreams and the fucking Walking Dead. All right, let's have a look at this. I'm seeing some typically American looking vehicles here. This little thing says cafe. I beg to differ. That looks like a shitter or a john or a privy or a toilet. Definitely not a cafe unless you, I don't know, have a proclivity as Bob Cather would say. Will Johnson Calicut. Oh no, it just doesn't look like what I was expecting. Curiously, I don't think we're in the US now. Based on this, we're gonna be somewhere Baltic, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna say Estonia for this one. On some highway heading out of town, that'll do. Oh god, it was Finland. Never mind. Yeah, what are you guys thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking? Oh my god! This is so funny! This is f this is so good. Well, if you don't know, this is an iconic Australian criminal, infamous Australian criminal, 
It's sort of like a bush hero, but really, you, you kill people. Can you truly be a hero? It is Ned Kelly. Ned Kelly was an Australian bush ranger. Bush ranger was basically a terrorist on a horse. This is the side of Ned Kelly's last stand, so his last battle. And I grew up not very far from here, and we would take school excursions to this place and watch this like animatronic rendition of the last stand because in the 90s when you learned about Australian history you learned about bush rangers and white explorers and not much else so yeah anyway this is Glen Rowan Glen Rowan is like halfway between where I lived my hometown and Melbourne yeah I can't believe I got this this is such a trip anyways this is the big Ned Kelly there it is Glen Rowan Let's go there. Not there. I don't know if this is a what the fuck. I guess for someone that's unfamiliar with Australian history. Interestingly, fun fact, the first motion picture ever made was about Ned Kelly. The first in the world. He made his own armor for this particular battle. He took some bullets, but he inevitably got caught and sent to, well, sent to Melbourne for trial and executed in Melbourne. And where's the big, the big fucker? Here's his capture site here. This is where all the mayhem went down. Somewhere here anyway. Cool. <laughs> that was a fun one to end on. It did really well except for that terrible <laughs> Appalachian. Such a sp specific region, the Southern Appalachians. And I fucked that up royally. All right, I liked that one. That was good with a little bit of fucking bush range and nostalgia thrown in at the end. Now let's play this one and then we'll finally get to enjoy the pie. Glitch in the matrix. Okay, no perceived glitch so far. Okay, this is fun. Moved around and with the 360 camera to get himself in every image or he is a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, so sectuplets. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna guess that this is in, hmm, I'm gonna guess southern India. Oh, got a new badge. I've played a thousand game. What a milestone. Thank you. I was in West Bengal near Kolkata. All right, never mind. At least we got the country, right? All right, here we go. Rabbit season, duck season. Have you seen like the cartoon and I don't know which one of the the animals he gets hit across the face or he gets shot in the face or something like extremely violent like that and he's his beak spins around and it's pointing in the opposite direction to his face. It's kinda like what's happened with Elmer Fudd here. He is oh imagine if this is how humans were built. Their knees bent backwards. Anyway, he's got a couple of big uh, guns here and I guess he's looking to shoot either, I don't know, a duck, a moose or an unlucky human. Who knows? This place looks beautiful. It's a shame you can't <laughs> enjoy it for fear of for fear of being shot in the fucking head. But anyway, I'm going to guess like, oh God, I don't even know, Canada or something. Who knows? Or like Montana, that'll do. Somewhere in here, that'll do. Ah, oh, it was Alaska. Never mind. All right, we have a shipping container here that's unfortunately taken on some water. So it actually looks like it's sinking. This guy is non-plussed. He does not give a shit. He's looking at the clock. He's like, it's 10 to 5. I don't have time to deal with a sinking ship. Whoever took this, I think it's their first time using a, a camera, otherwise they hit a big wave. There's a lot going on here. Anyway, based on the tears in the space-time continuum, I'm going <laughs> to guess that this is in the Bermuda Triangle, which is, fuck, I don't even know where it is. Somewhere in here, right? Bermuda, yeah, I'm going to guess in here. Nah, it wasn't. It's in the East China Sea. There you go. All right, next glitch, one billion latitude points right there. Here we have a, a very undernourished horse. No, it is two people walking in unison. 
perhaps one person. Where's the other half of them though? It's a pretty cool Halloween costume. Anyway, this is looking like a very modern city, wherever it is. This might be our clue here. Center for the Performing Arts and Alaska Center. Does it say Alaska? They look rugged up enough to be in Alaska. Yeah, I could see this being Fairbanks or Anchorage, I suppose. That's two for Alaska if that's the case. We'll just go Anchorage. I bet it's Fairbanks. Nope, it was. Lucky. Carrying on. The final round for the evening and then finally I can enjoy the pie. So, the glitch is the shadow is... I oh know this would be the... This looks like a, a fucking mailbox out of Minecraft. Oh no. Japan or South Korea? I think South Korea. That is my final guess. All right, let's chuck it in. I think this is this is definitely South Korea. She says half confidently, that is Japan, you, you fool. Let's go Busan, somewhere on the outskirts, but not in the middle of the river. And to that heart was Seoul. There you go. All right, that concludes this weird, wonderful and wacky episode of not so impressive clocks and a little trip to bloody Glen Rowan in country Victoria. All right, I'm going to try out this pie now. Hooroo for now and see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>